So to wrap up, um, I think the things I want you to take away from this are deep learning, troubleshooting, and debugging is really hard. And in my view, the main reason why it's so hard is that you know, for a given sort of degradation in performance, there are many different competing sources of error that could be causing that. And the implication of that is if you want to train bug-free deep learning models, then I think you need to treat building those models as an iterative process. So starting as simple as possible and then layering on complexity sort of one step at a time um, so that you can isolate when you add something that doesn't improve your performance as you expect it to. Um, and so these are kind of the steps that we talked about that if you follow them will hopefully allow you to make your model um, perform better and be more likely to be bug free. And the last thing I want to mention is just a few other resources that you can go to, to learn more about this topic if you're interested. Thanks. Um, I guess we have like maybe one more minute if there's more questions. Yeah, I think, um, so the question is, why don't we have like a machine learning unit testing framework? Um, I think the answer is it's still hard. Um, and there are people working on this. And I think that most um, like really good practitioners, what they'll do is they'll write sort of, uh, I wouldn't really call them unit tests, but they'll write assertions for themselves um, in, in their code, right? So they'll say like, all right, here I'm you know, multiplying something that's n by m by uh, times something that's like n, m by n. So I expect the result to be n by n. And so like, I'll just write a little assertion in here just to make sure that that's true um, at the end of this. Because if it's not, then that means that I made a mistake somewhere up there. Um, so I think people do this like, sort of on an ad hoc basis at a small scale. And hopefully, it'll become more systematized. systematized. Yeah. All right, thanks.